After eight days of protests, the governor of Puerto Rico has just announced he will not run for re-election next year. Now, this announcement comes amid an uproar over leaked private chat messages that were criticized as homophobic, disparaging toward women, and insensitive to the victims of Hurricane Maria. Let's get right to CNN senior international correspondent Nick Payton Walsh, who's joining us by phone right now from Puerto Rico. Nick, what happened? Well, it's kind of extraordinary, Anna, and I have to tell you, you know, we have been with some anticipation most of the afternoon thinking something was going on inside the governor's mansion here, anticipation that he might be about to resign his post immediately. But what he's essentially done is said that he's not going to run again in an election which everyone thinks he's going to lose anyway. He says he wants to finish out his term and that he's going to stop being president of the party that he heads here, essentially saying he's going to step back from really kind of mainstream political life. But the notion that he's not going to step down immediately, which is only really the thing that the protest crowds have been seeking, and to make that point clear again with kind of a minor concession um, ahead of the protest we're expecting tomorrow, Monday, which could be a million people on the streets blocking the main Las Americas expressway heading in to uh, San Juan, the capital city here. Well, it's just going to throw, frankly, fuel uh, onto much of the crowd here. As I say, it's a minor concession, and it essentially says that the elections we all expect to happen in November of next year will not be involving him. Now, as you can see pretty much here from the universal discontent people are expressing uh, around the city here, granted I'm mostly in protest, but it's hard to find the pro Rosario voice here. He's the governor, Ricardo Rosario. It's extraordinary that he would take to this Facebook uh, message and make such a defiant statement, digging his heels in, saying he wants to continue serving the people. Now, there's no polling here, obviously, but as I say, incredibly hard to find a voice in his support. The key bit here is possibly you might see an argument that really, as some senior officials and the political elite have suggested, it's not clear what would come next if he did step down immediately. Now, the pr crowds here that we're seeing are furious generally at the political elite. That decade, what they see is political corruption, mismanagement, how they've been looked after after Hurricane Maria in 2017, but also years before that as well. And the chat groups, which emerged just in the past weeks or so, in which he and Rosario's inner circle were seen being derogatory uh, of, of uh, LGBT community, of women, of virtually anybody you can lay a think about, frankly, in sort of one place I described in a very sophomoric sort of way, uh, that sparked the fuel, really. That sparked uh, the sort of a dry forest fire, if you like, of discontent amongst ordinary Puerto Ricans. And that fire is kind of raging, and it wants the whole political elite gone. So this process, as far as I understand, would essentially involve, most likely, given the fact that the serving deputy of Mr. Rosario uh, isn't actually in position, it might end up involving a treasurer, but we're still talking about people from the same political elite. That political elite clearly is beginning to turn on the government. It's been uh, to the focus of uh, various calls for an impeachment inquiry that's now underway. I should point out that Governor Rosario welcomed uh, that legislative process, as he calls it, which wasn't necessarily referring to the impeachment inquiry, but certainly referring uh, to the ongoing uh, process in Parliament investigating part of what he's been up to. But I have to say, a remarkable, defiant statement. Many people, I think, thought this might have been the final moment where he stood down from his position. But instead, we're seeing him saying he'll stay with the sort of bizarre concession that he won't stick around for an election that he's almost certainly going to lose if he's still in political mm -hmm. life then. I have to tell you, with a million people potentially out on the street tomorrow, the city being threatened with a gridlock and a standstill, businesses being warned that they'll have traffic disrupted, federal offices closing, and the local justice department uh, telling its employees it should still come into work. It's a normal working day. There's going to be chaos for the next 72 yeah. hours, here, certainly. And whether he decides to stick out through that is an open question, Anna. Well, we'll see the reaction from protesters and those who have been so tenacious in their demands for him to resign. Again, if you are just joining us, Nick Payton Walsh, thank you for that detailed reporting. Uh, to our viewers, if you're just joining us, the governor of Puerto Rico making an announcement via Facebook saying he will not run for re-election. He's about two and a half years into a four-year term currently. Um, and according to Nick Payton Walsh, who's there in Puerto Rico talking with protesters this weekend, that is not likely to quell their concerns. We'll continue to stay on top of this story and follow any fallout from this announcement.